Um, my Lords, the government remains committed to delivering the partnership between the UK and Rwanda so we can break the business model of people smugglers and prevent further loss of life in the channel. Working together, the UK and Rwanda will help make the immigration system fairer and ensure that people are safe and enjoy new opportunities to flourish. Uh, my Lords, that of course is a standard answer. I'd hope for a little bit of a U-turn on this issue, but seem seemingly not. Uh, my Lords, uh, the, the government says that this is fully in accordance with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees disputes this. There is no basis in international law for our doing this. And we are made to look foolish and in breach of our normal traditions of human, of human rights and the humanitarian approach to refugees. Isn't it time for the government to think again? In any case, it's not going to happen because the lawyers are going to stop it. I'm grateful for the government whip. I've, I've visited the reception centre in Kigali in June. I asked about the legal basis of that centre, which is on a private contract on an annual basis, which will run out in April. I saw no facilities for those people who will be vulnerable or at suicide risk. And I've asked repeatedly in this House what is the legal underpinning of this MOU? This House's International Agreements Committee has today reported to say it's unacceptable for a measure such as this to be under an MOU and not a treaty. So will the government think again and allow Parliament to vote, to scrutinise and to ratify this agreement if the government believes that it's sound? Yeah, yeah. My Lords, my um, noble friend the Minister knows that I'm among a number on these benches who are deeply uncomfortable with this policy and with some of the language used by those even at the top of the Home Office in discussing it. Surely the hundreds of millions of pounds already spent and earmarked in the future for implementing this policy would be better spent here, speeding up the systems and processes at the Home Office so that decisions are made fairly and in good time and those in genuine need receive the security they deserve, while those with no grounds to remain are returned to their countries of origin and not a land they have no link to. I would ask if my noble friend could take this suggestion back to the Department. Yeah. The United Nations, my lords, the United Nations uh, Commissioner for Refugees in a written submission to the High Court this year, not previous years, says there should be no transfers of asylum seekers from the UK to Rwanda under the UK-Rwanda agreement, saying there was a serious risk of human rights abuses and a serial regard, disregard for international law in Rwanda. The UN's HCR has clearly changed its mind. Why won't the government change its mind? 